Hi friends, it's Judy, and guess what? It's time for Guardrail 35. This is amazing, only one more after this. So let's take a look inside the Guardrail. This is a very, very important verse that can affect all of us, ready? If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he's a liar. First John chapter four, verse 20, let's say it again. If anyone says, oh yeah, I love God, yet hates his brother, he is a liar. First John chapter four, verse 20. Now, how are we going to remember 1 John 4.20? Well, there's a man in gray, and he looks very angry, and he's got a fist. There we take a look. A man in gray is always John, and the fist represents first. So 1 John, the man in gray is John. So this fist John, 1 John is he's very angry. He's so mad at his brother. Man, he's got to let it go. And see those four little hearts? Let's hope that some hearts will come out of his life. And then twin T's, twin T, fist John 4, 20. Let's take a look down here. Fist John, gray figures always John, four hearts and twin T's up here, twin T's. If anyone says I love God, yet hates his brother, he's a liar. So you know what? Let's love God and love others. And if, and if there's sin, if there's anger in your heart, ask God to help you let it go. Ask him to forgive it. Forgive you if you've done something wrong. Ask for forgiveness. But you know, if we hold anger in our hearts, we're the ones that are hurting. We need to let it go and let God, you know, um, ask God take away the anger. Because you know what? You're the only one that's going to suffer. They might not even know that you're angry. So if anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he's a liar. First John chapter 4, verse 20. Those four hearts, ready? If anyone says, I love God, Yet hates his brother, he's a liar. If anyone hit says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he's a liar. First John chapter 4, verse 20. First John 4, 20. If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he's a liar. Let's remember that one. So let's take a look at the principle and action of this verse. Believers reflect God's character. They love the sinner, but hate the sin. In so doing, they don't get stuck emotionally tied to their enemies. Think about two people here. Let's look at Elizabeth Elliot. Huh. She had every right to hate after her missionary husband and four others were killed by a cannibal tribe in Ecuador in 1956. Elizabeth, however, chose to forgive and several years later completed Jim's work by reaching the Alcas for Christ down in Ecuador. Later, Elizabeth and the man who killed Jim toured together with the simple gospel message of love and forgiveness. And if you want to see this story, it's Elizabeth Elliot's story in the movie End of the Spear. It's a very powerful movie. What about Rob Kenny? He forgave his father who'd abandoned him when he was 14 by refusing to carry childhood baggage into his adult life. Rob successfully raised his two children and is helping raise millions more through his YouTube videos, which teach valuable life skills that many le never learn from their dads. Wow, they let it go. They could have lived with that anger. Elizabeth could have lived with that anger. Rob Kenny could have lived with that anger, but they let it go. God gave them forgiveness in their hearts because God's forgiven us. So we need to forgive other people. Let's remember this verse. If anyone says I love God, yet hates his brother, he's a liar. First John chapter four, verse 20. Great, great verse.